decontaminate hands using the seven step technique. Gather and prepare your equipment. For the suprapubic catheterization procedure, you will require a catheterization pack, two pairs of sterile gloves, your catheter, the same size as a catheter in situ that has been recommended by the manufacturer for suprapubic use, 10 ml of sterile water for balloon inflation, two sterile syringes, your instilla gel, 6 ml, catheter bag and straps. Don your apron and gloves. Cleanse the suprapubic site using 0.9% sodium chloride. Attach syringe to the catheter balloon inflation valve and deflate the catheter balloon. Note the volume removed. Allow the water to come back spontaneously. Prepare to remove the catheter by placing the fingers of your gloved hand on either side of the catheter as close to the suprapubic site as possible. Grip the catheter and gently remove the old catheter in an upward direction and a slight rotation. Judge the length of the catheter removed and the angle for reinsertion. This may be helpful against your hand or a measuring tape. Dispose of gloves and the old catheter. Decontaminate hands and don your second pair of sterile gloves. Re-cleanse the suprapubic site if required using your ANTT approach. Place a small amount of lubricating jelly onto the tip of the catheter, being careful not to clog the eyelets. Hold the outer packaging of the catheter, judge the length of the catheter to be reinserted. Slowly introduce the catheter into the suprapubic channel to the bladder to the distance judged by the old catheter. Advance a further three centimetres. Securing the catheter, remove the outer packaging. This may be torn along the length dependent on the outer packaging and catheter type. Observe for the drainage of urine. You may apply gentle abdominal pressure if needed. Inflate the balloon according to the manufacturer's direction and observe for any resistance. Attach the catheter to the appropriate drainage system. ensuring an ANTT approach. Apply straps or a fixation device to secure in a comfortable position for the patient. Dispose of equipment and materials safely and correctly. Maintain patient's dignity. And ensure that the patient is comfortable, dry, clean and clothed. Doff PPE and carry out appropriate hand hygiene. Record clearly, accurately and correctly all relevant information in the ongoing catheter care records.